Okay, good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a good day, and welcome to my first of two gameplay streams. Today is Thursday, the 23rd of January, 2020. Hello, hello. And I hope that you're all doing well. Um, Nice day here in Washington State. Uh, rainy, cold and rainy, but that is the normal for our winters here. Uh, excited for two fun streams today. Should be a good time. Uh, continuing on with Knights of the Old Republic, again, a game I've never played before, so this is all new to me, the stuff that we're doing. Um, and then, later tonight, more Yoshi's Island, a game I've only played once before. And quite frankly, I'm finding it way more challenging and interesting than I thought I would. Um, probably because, uh, you know, I, I only remember kind of beating it once when I was a kid during the 90s on the SNES, but now as I'm playing it back, it's feeling different to me. It really is. Um, so good stuff. You know, good a good day of variety of streams. Uh, feeling pretty good, in a good mood. I hope you guys are feeling good too today. Hope that everything is well with you. Right? What's going on? What's going on? So, let's talk about a lot of stuff, my friends. Let's talk about the schedule. Let's talk about other stuff going on. Are you guys aware that tomorrow I am starting up my Donkey Kong 64 playthrough? I am. It's tomorrow. It's the viewer's choice, which you guys chose. Uh, you know, we'll start up tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be getting it on Wii U, which will be interesting. This will be the first time I'm hooking up my Wii U uh, to the internet and everything in a million years. There's probably going to be like a giant firmware update and stuff, I would think. <laughs> um... So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Hell, I hope that my freaking Wii U still works. Um, I'm checking right now. I do still have the controller, you know, the stupid ginormous touchscreen controller plugged in. Uh, I'm not using that. Fuck that. I'll be uh, using the, what is it, the Pro Controller or whatever for the Wii U. So I'll have to get that going again um, for the first time in quite a long time. <clears throat> So that should be interesting. Getting all that working tonight. One of my projects for tonight, working on it. Uh, behind the scenes of the stream and downloading the game and everything. Um, should be good. So that's tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night we got Throwback Street Fighter, my weekly session of that late night on uh, Friday. Saturday, we return back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Which now is pretty interesting. All of last stream yesterday was about the Namek Saga. And... We're basically going to be uh, finishing up the Namek Saga of, you know, doing all the Frieza fights, which I get the feeling is going to be very drawn out. Um, and then, I guess, another intermission, because there is a lot of downtime between uh, the Namek Saga and the Android Saga. So we'll see how that goes. And... Uh, and then uh, Saturday night, it's time for more Pokemon. I'm going to be playing Pokemon again, trying to catch them all. Last week when I played Pokemon, I got up to 340 Pokemon, which is absolutely excellent. Um, now, I have a bunch of Pokemon I need to evolve some multiple times. I have some Pokemon I need to uh, breed to get the lower evolutions. And there's still some Pokemon I need to catch. So there's still work to be done. But for the most part, I've gotten all the trading done that I needed to do last week. Shout out to Popsicolo, who did all that trading with me last week. Um, <clears throat> and I would think, as long as we can keep stuff up the rate that it's been going, maybe another two to three streams of Pokemon Sword, and maybe we can finish up the, the catching of all 400 Pokemon. Or we may end up with like one or two streams where I'm just trying to catch one Pokemon, and I can't get them to spawn. That could also happen, because some of these Pokemon are incredibly low spawn rates. <laughs> <clears throat> so you really never know what's gonna happen when I when I uh, when I play Pokemon. I guess we'll see. So that'll be uh, Saturday night. Sunday we'll do more nights, just like we're doing today. Um, and Sunday night I'm gonna be playing Doom Two, a game that I played during my Christmas marathon, a game that I actually played back in the 1990s on PC. Uh, a really good way, in my opinion, if I play Doom Two, say once a week, to kind of get a lead into the Doom Eternal release coming out in march it'll get us hyped up for that so that's exciting and then on monday uh another session of uh, uh donkey kong 64 and my weekly minecraft chill stream where i'll be finishing up the shrine that we were building this last week i'll be starting up a mob grinder project 
And we got another really interesting project to work on. Based off of the, the top contributor of last week's Minecraft stream, they had a really interesting suggestion that I actually can't wait to present to you guys. <clears throat> we'll talk about that, of course, on the Minecraft stream on Monday, but it's really neat, and it should be pretty funny. So that'll be good. Um, so it's an interesting streaming week, for sure. Good variety, okay? Now, also, this weekend, I'm going to be setting up the ability for you guys to start nominating your favorite moments of my 11-plus years as a content creator on the Internet for us to watch back in a retrospective event. All right, because we did hit the sub goal this month, earlier this month. And that means we're doing a special retrospective marathon sometime in February. So I will have that available for you later on this weekend. I got need some time to actually do it. Um, so probably sometime this weekend I'll set that up for you guys to uh, start nominating. Okay? Um, let's see, what else? There's so much going on. Also, please post up your questions for Ask the King. In fact, it's one week from today. That's right. One week from today is the next episode of Ask the King. You may not be aware, but it is one week from today, the next episode, um, where I answer your questions that you post up on my forums at thekingofhate.com. The link is being posted in this stream chat about every 20 minutes or so for you guys to go over to the forums and post up your questions. So please do. The more questions I get, the better the show is by far. Um, I'm looking forward to Ask the King next week. So please post up those questions for that Q&A show, okay? Um, let's see. <clears throat> outside of all that man i don't know what else to, to i'm trying to think there's if there's anything else really to address anything important to talk about what do you guys think what do you guys think <laughs> stream q a every day is a stream q a i mean every day you guys ask me questions Sage Black says no. Sage Blake, excuse me, says no more. Ask the King, no more. You want me to end Ask the King, completely? Wow. Polish Frog wants me to talk about Brexit and Trump before we move on on the pre-stream. Brexit and Trump, huh? These are the hot topics you want me to talk about. These are the the things that people are concerned about. Brexit and Trump. <laughs> okay then. Here we go. Ready? Brexit, Brexit, Trump, Trump. No, I don't think we're going to be doing that. I don't think so. Okay. All right. I guess we'll move on, my friends. Uh, let's move on to the second segment of the pre-stream, which is the gratuitous plugs. Not much to talk about today. It's kind of a... not it's nothing super exciting today. Um, I guess that's a good thing. You know what they say? No news is good news. I got a good, a good slew of streams lined up for this week. A good variety of stuff. No real dramas going on right now, which is good. Like... Oh my god, I can't believe it. There's no real drama going on right now. Nothing new, nothing crazy. I can actually just have like a relaxing day here on stream and not have to worry about stupidity. Huh? So that's a good thing. Um let's just have a good let's just have a good a good day. A good streaming day and not have to worry about nonsense. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for 11 awesome years. Thank you for allowing me to, on a daily basis, share my gameplay experiences with you, to hang out with you on stream and have a good time, to relax and chill uh, on a daily basis, you know? I'm one of the few people on this planet that gets to do what they love for a living. Gaming has been my passion my whole life. It was my hobby when I was a kid, and I'm incredibly lucky and grateful that I'm able to do this as a job as well, okay? Um... It's pretty awesome, you know, starting off as just doing it as a hobby for two and a half years, then turning it into a job when I got laid off from my job, and being a full-time YouTuber for a while, and now being a full-time streamer for three years. That's right, we're coming up on my three-year anniversary of being a full-time streamer. It was during my Breath of the Wild playthrough in February of 2017 that I had to mix stuff up, change up the formula per se, um, and the rest is history. I really don't feel like... Uh, it was a misstep. I feel it was one of the best choices I had ever made. I love the interactivity I have with you guys every day on stream. So if you guys absolutely like the fact that I'm here six days a week streaming full time, if you like the fact that I still upload my videos over on YouTube, on DSP Gaming, to archive them, so if you can't be here on a live stream, you can still watch them back at your own leisure. If you like all of this and you want to see it continue, there are many ways that you can actually contribute to keep stuff going. All right, many ways. However, before we even get to those ways, I'll say this up front. Contributions are greatly appreciated. Contributions, you know, pay for everything around here. 
However, they are not mandatory. I, I'm perfectly happy just having people come by and hang out with me on a daily stream, having a good chill time. That's what it's all about. I made gameplay videos on YouTube for two and a half years before I ever monetized them, and I would continue to live stream, even if I couldn't make any money doing it. I would definitely do it in a very decreased capacity from what I do today, but I would keep doing it because I love doing it. That's why I do it. I don't do it for the money. So please understand that, and please know that if you come to a stream and you, oh man, I can't contribute to the stream, I feel like the odd man out or whatever. You shouldn't. That's fine. Come and have a good time. Hang out with us. Enjoy the chill vibes. Let's uh, let's have a good one together. That's what it's about. All right? So it's always been about and what it always will be about for me. Okay? Good shit. All right. So now, continuing on. Let's talk about some of the ways that if you uh, are considering contributing and you'd like to go above and beyond, um, how you could do it. I have a Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Your monthly pledges to my Patreon allow you to earn personal perks as a way of me saying thank you for your contributions. So give it a look. All the information is explained right there for you on the Patreon page. And I appreciate anyone who contributes via that method. I also have a Teespring store where you can buy all kinds of fun merchandise. It's primarily t-shirts, but there's some other stuff on there like hoodies and sweatshirts and mugs, etc. Anything you buy there helps me out and you get a cool collectible. So give that a look as well. Um, if you're here on the live stream, chances are you obviously want uh, to do something that's going to get you some kind of recognition on the stream, right? So if you either cheer with bits or you subscribe to the channel or you tip me during a live stream, I will give you a shout out as long as, you know, the message you send is in accordance with the rules of the stream. Now, we have a stream stats leaderboard at the top of the screen. As you can see, top cheerer, top tipper are listed. So people who are the top cheerer or top tipper of a stream will also get some prominent featuring there at the top of the stream. There's two other leaderboards that are actually... Uh, integrated into Twitch, there's the top cheers of the week as well as the top sub gifters of the week. Those are also right there on a leaderboard that I will read out and give some credit to in just a few minutes here. So many, many ways for you to get recognized during a live stream, and I'm appreciative of any of these contributions. Now, that being said, okay, of all those methods of contribution, the best way you can contribute is by tipping me. The reason being, when you tip me, I get those funds immediately. That's stuff I could put towards things right now. Like the funds I get today, I can buy Donkey Kong 64 with. I could pay taxes with it. I could pay an attorney fee with it. You know what I mean? Like there's so many things, bills behind the scenes, health insurance, all kinds of shit. And your tips help out with all that stuff. So please consider tipping me today. You may say, well, I don't understand. Why are, aren't the other contribution methods good too? Of course they are. But every other kind of contribution method has some kind of a delay or a processing time to it. Tips I get immediately. So tips do technically help out more than anything else. Please consider tipping me if you can. That being said, if you look below the stream, there's a tips jar button you can click on, and that will take you directly to the tips page. Or you could type exclamation point tip into the stream chat to bring up the link to my PayPal tips page. If you are considering tipping me today, please know you don't need a PayPal account in order to tip me. That's a misconception. Even though having a registered PayPal account would obviously make it easier, you can actually just tip using a debit or credit card. Um, if you don't see the option to do so on the PayPal tips page, more than likely it's because you are on a mobile version of the site that does not load those options properly. So try loading the desktop version of the site on your mobile device or, <clears throat> even easier, jump on a re real desktop PC and all those options should come up. We can use, say, you know, Visa, MasterCard, etc. to tip, okay? Um, all right, so thank you for even considering it. If you are considering contributing today, a big heads up and a, a, a word of warning. I care about you guys, and I don't want you guys to be harassed online. So please understand that there are a group of people out there on the internet who get their jollies off by harassing people on the internet. Uh, they don't need to know you. They don't need to, to care about you. And they don't even need to have any any kind of visual uh, confirmation that anything they've done gets them any kind of benefit. Because it doesn't. But... To them, just messing with people on the internet anonymously is like a power thing, you know? Like, they're in their real lives, they're probably miserable people with no power. They're messed up in the head, and they say, man, if I could dox someone and I could harass them in their personal life because of all their information on the internet, they will do so, okay? So the reason I say this is because a lot of people don't realize how much information of yours is out on the internet, to, you know, today. You may have a social media like a Facebook or a Twitter or an Instagram, and it has all kinds of personal stuff. Oh, pictures of you and your friends, pictures of you at work. You know, pictures of your family members, and it's all linked to their accounts and stuff. Bad news. You know, that means that that's concrete information people can use to hurt you. The reason I say this is because sometimes people will contribute to a streamer, 
And now people will use that information. Oh man, that person, let me find their social media. Oh, I found it. Now it's time to harass them, right? So my recommendation to you is if you're going to contribute during a live stream to myself or anyone else, it doesn't have to just be me. I'm saying to anyone else, protect your identity as much as you can. Okay, in particular, if you're thinking of tipping me today, you can tip anonymously. Just say anonymous. No one will know it's you because you have no information tied to that. Or you can actually just um, make up a name completely that has nothing to do with your name or anything on your social media. No one will, again, no one will know it's you or be able to tie it to you. That's my strongest recommendation. Protect yourself. Be safe. Don't let these weirdo people who are out to harass people just for the hell of it do it. Okay, don't give them the power that they're looking for. All right, fair enough. I killed Phil says, well, I'm off the grid, no social media. Well, I guess if you're completely off the grid and you have none of that crap, then I guess you're fine. But you know, truth of the matter is most of us have it, right? Okay. Um. So that's that. Now let's move on, guys. Let's move on um, to the rules of the stream. We've now talked enough about the plugs, okay? Rules of my stream. Here's my mentality when I live stream. In general... The vibe that I'm trying to promote is a chill one. I want people to come by my stream and feel like they can relax. Feel like this is a place where you can escape the stress and annoyances of your real life. Unwind a bit and just have a good time. You're going to watch me play a game. See my honest reaction to whatever game I'm playing for that day. Maybe interact a little bit with me or with my stream chat or both. Right? And in general, just have <clears throat> a relaxing and fun stream uh, together. So that being said... Uh, I feel that there are a couple things that would derail that kind of an effort of having that kind of stream, and that's why they're against the rules. Allow me to outline those for you. First of all, I feel there are two topics that in the 11 plus years I've been a content creator always tend to derail discussion. They always tend to create arguments, and in general, people can't agree to disagree on these subjects, and because of that, I really feel that they're detrimental to a gameplay stream. Those subjects are politics and religion. If I'm playing Knights of the Old Republic today... And we're having fun with the dark side choices and everything's good. Last thing you want to do is look back to the stream and see people arguing about Donald Trump being impeached or when will Brexit be implemented or who's the Democratic candidate going to be in the United States and blah, 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 blah. And who gives a, a flaming tutor? What's a flaming tutor? I don't know. But who cares about that on a gameplay stream? The answer is no one really uh, or very few people. And if you do bring up those topics, you're going to be derailing the stream. They're not allowed. All right, so I'm just throwing that out there. Please understand that, that those topics are not allowed. Please do not derail my stream with that stuff, all right? Fair enough. A flaming tutor. It's a good one. It's a new meme, the flaming tutor, whatever that is. All right, so that's number one. Number two, I am... Oh, by the way, I should say this. If there is a game where there's politics or religion in context to the game, like, it, oh, it's actually part of the plot of the game or something interesting, you know, in, in relation to the game, then, of course, it's allowed. I'm only saying if it's completely out of context what we're doing on the stream, then obviously I don't want to discuss. But if it's in context of something going on, then we can obviously have a discussion about those topics. Okay? All right. <clears throat> now, the other thing is that we are well aware here that there are tons of people on the internet that on a regular basis slander me, defame me, make up drama, insult me and my family members, and in general are just trying to be nasty to me for their own personal gain. Okay? These are people who will fabricate a story out of next to no information, um, completely doing conspiracy theories and crazy shit just to get clickbait views on their own content and videos and illegal restreams. So, we know those people exist. There's absolutely no reason to address them or bring up their crap on a stream. In general, a lot of the times, I'll just make fun of how hilariously stupid the stuff is that they say or do to try to own the crappy memes so that they don't have power anymore, okay? So, please understand that. And please know that I don't need to know about every new meme. I don't need to know about every piece of crap that happens that, you know, that people make up about me. I mean, I've been doing this for 11 years. I'd probably say for about seven straight years, it's been nonstop slander. Um, actually, I take that back because I would say really it started around 2013. And it was 2014 to 15 where it got really bad. So I'd probably say about six or seven straight. Yeah, six or seven straight years uh, where I put up with that crap on a daily basis. You know, I'm used to it. It's just that I don't like it when... <clears throat> Again, I'm streaming, and the next thing you know, I look at the stream chat, and everyone's talking about a detractor meme or something. It's just not allowed. I just want you guys to understand that. And every once in a while, we'll also get someone innocent who kind of comes in here and says, Oh, Phil, did you hear this guy's restreaming? We don't need to know. The truth of the matter is, when you bring it up, all it does is it gives attention to the people who are doing it, 
it lets them get more popular, it lets them get more views, make more money by riding my coattails and basically shitting on me constantly. So it's the stuff they say and do at this point is so ludicrous. There's absolutely no reason to entertain it or even have to defend myself against it because it's so fucking stupid. At this point, I, I'm just I'm tired of it and I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. I'm going to put forward a positive and fun stream on a daily basis. That's all we need to worry about. Please don't bring up the negative crap. It is against the rules. Okay? Fair enough? All right. Thank you guys for understanding. All right. So that's the rules. I think now what it's time to do is move on to the third and final segment of the pre-stream. This pre-stream is moving pretty quickly today because, like I said, there's not tons of stuff to talk about. Uh, this is the shout-out segment. This is where I give shout-outs to everyone who has contributed um, to the stream, and we start updating the leaderboards and the like, and we go from there, okay? All right, good stuff. So, first of all, um, overnight, Tantamounter did a 100-bit cheer. Thank you very much, Tantamounter, for that overnight 100-bit cheer. Um, an anonymous cheerer did a 55-bit cheer overnight as well. Thank you to the anonymous cheerer. I appreciate that. Everyone, please welcome back OG Rascal. He, uh, he got banned a few months ago for misbehavior. He's back. I think he learned his lesson. He publicly, well, he publicly, he didn't. He privately apologized to me. And uh, I'm giving him another shot here. He resubscribed for eight months. He says, looking forward to the stream, Phil. Uh, I am indeed am also looking forward to the stream. So welcome back, OG Rascal. Um, Alfred Apate tipped me $1.30 and says, hey, Phil, we're here. Awesome. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that everyone's here and we're having a good time and should be a good stream. Thank you, Alfred. You're the first tipper of the day. Let me get you up on the leaderboard here. And by the way, thanks for that 30 cents, so that way it covers the processing fee. And I can actually make a dollar on that tip. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, Preach, resubscribe for eight months. Thank you, Preach, for eight-month resubscription. That is much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Um, excuse me. Snake Eater did a 95-bit cheer. That's actually the first cheer of the stream. He says, hope you're having a great day. Would you consider unban banning Doodly Dread? And I already did. Doodly Dread was saying some really weird stuff last night. And you guys got to understand something. There's a difference between, okay, let's joke about a meme. Okay, let's poke some fun at Phil. Or, okay, let's bring up disgusting stuff about private stuff behind the scenes or stuff about his wife. There's a big difference there. There's a line you don't cross. Doodly Dread says that he was drunk last night. All right. Oops, what am I doing? It's not Doodly Dread. Snake Eater. So I'm going to take his word for it. I temporarily banned him last night to get him to stop doing this stuff during the PUBG stream. Um, I hope he won't do it again. I hope he's learned his lesson. Okay? Um, if he starts doing really ridiculous stuff like that again, that's it. You know, give a... You know, as they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, eh, eh, burp, 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 won't get fooled again. <laughs> that's my favorite George W. Bush quote. And, you know, he's my idol. So... No, really what I'm saying is, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll believe him when he says that he didn't mean what he said and he was uh, he was drunk. Um, so I'll let him back in. But if he starts doing ridiculous over-the-top stuff like that again, that's that was your chance, okay? Got it? Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. So, there we go. Let's continue on. The Master Programmer resubscribed for 10 months. Thank you very much to Master Programmer. Um... I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much for a 10 month resub. Um, Info took me a dollar and says, I got banned for talking to Rumble Stiltskin or some username like that. I see that the penne points are a permanent feature now. How's it going? It's going well. Sorry to hear that you got banned. Um, if you would like me to, to review your ban, uh, you can always email me at darksidephil at hotmail.com and give me your Twitch name and information. Let me know what happened. Um, if you know what happened and something you did and you want to apologize for it, etc. I have no idea. Obviously, I don't remember every single situation. Uh, but I'd be happy to review that for you if you ever would like me to. Yes, the penne points seem to be permanent. They told me back in November that they were going to go away in December. Then all of a sudden in December, they launched penne points for everyone, which was early because they said they were doing it originally in January. And no one lost penne points, so everyone's good. You know, penne points are a permanent fixture of the stream. So, there you go. Okay, um, Anonymous Harry tipped me $6. That's the biggest uh, tip of the day so far. He says, I'll never, I'm will never, i never here live, so glad that I can actually catch one. Well, thank you, uh, Anonymous Harry, for the $6 tip. I don't know how anonymous you can be when you actually say your name is Harry. Then again, I'm sure there's a lot of people on the planet named Harry, so I guess it's kind of a safe thing to just give your first name. 
Okay. Oh, shit. Where's my A? There it is. <clears throat> so thank you for the $6 tip, Harry. Good good to hear that you can be here live for the stream. That's awesome. Hopefully you enjoy it. Nights has been a pretty fun experience so far, I would say. Pretty unique and interesting. You know, that, that Bioware feel for sure of how Bioware games used to be with their RPGs. Um... It's really cool to see a game that's a predecessor to games like Dragon Age and, and uh, Mass Effect. And I'm really enjoying the playthrough, so I hope you guys are too. Thank you for the $6 tip. Chunky Jack, tip me $2, is waiting for the unbanned buddy. It's great that you're waiting for the unbanned, but tipping me $2 will not get you unbanned. As I've said many times, you need to appeal to me via email. I don't know if you have yet or not, um, but you need to email me. And you need to give me your name and tell me the situation, and I'll review it. Not tip me $2 on stream and expect that I'm going to massively just unban you out of nowhere. Okay? Jorn tipped me a dollar. and says, do you like Dragon Ball Z? I do. I told you guys, Dragon Ball was the... Dragon Ball was really the anime that got me into anime. Because that was the major one in the 90s that was playing on TV at the time. And it was after that that I went and researched anime and I found more anime and I watched more anime after that. And then, of course, in the early 2000s, you, you know... Cartoon Network started airing anime in the form of like Adult Swim and stuff, and or, or Toonami, right? They had Toonami, which was a big block of anime, and then they started doing late night anime with Adult Swim, and that's how I kind of got even more exposure to anime. But it was really Dragon Ball was kind of the gateway show for many many Americans who didn't even know about anime, and then they started watching the show like, what the hell is this? It's like you know, interesting plot, really dramatic, drawn out dialogue. Big fights, you know, crazy stuff, and people really seem to like it. So, so there you go. Um, yes, I like Dragon Ball Z. In fact, that's why I'm enjoying Dragon Ball Z Kakarot so much, I think. Uh, Freddie B did a 100-bit cheer. It's the top cheer of the day. He says, why don't you have a tip score for the amount of your own back taxes? Why be aloof about that? Well, Freddie B, first of all, I don't even know what you mean by back taxes. Like, I have no idea what you mean by that. Um... Do, are you talking... You see, like, there's so many taxes. There's state taxes. There's federal taxes. There's property taxes. There's a million taxes. So, I, I don't know if you're just referencing what I said earlier, where I said, oh, sometimes your tips pay taxes or whatever. Um, the truth of the matter is, I won't exactly know what I owe in taxes uh, coming up until uh, my taxes are filed, which won't happen until probably late February, early March, because I give all the information to my tax guy in February, and he does all the work, and then usually by early March, I have all the information of, you know, what I owe and all of that. Of course, truth of the matter is, I owe a ton, because I had no money this year to pay any of it, because as you know, I'm, that's one of the reasons I'm declaring bankruptcy. I have no money. All my money was, go, was going to unsecured debts and bills, and I had no money to pay taxes, because I was so much up to my head in debt. Um, so, you know, that being said... More than likely, what's going to happen is that this year, the same thing that happened last year, they'll put me on another payment plan if I can qualify for it, which I don't know if I'm going to. Um, if I don't qualify for it, chances are they're probably going to put me on, like, uh, they'll put a lien on my house or something, right? Which is bad, but it's certainly not awful. It's not like they're going to try to take my house just for one year of taxes or anything like that. Um, my hope here is that, you know, declaring bankruptcy like I'm, I'm doing... Um, I don't have to pay my debts anymore, the, the unsecured ones, and I could put that towards taxes, which is what it should have been going to the entire time. So instead of all my money being pissed away to loans and credit cards and stupid shit every month, now that money can go towards the taxes, and then hopefully, within one to two years here, I can get caught up on everything. And then when I'm back at square one, then I'll be fine. The problem is, uh, you know, I got a long road ahead of me in order to get to square one. Um, which sucks. So when you're saying, oh, uh, you know, why don't you just put up a tips goal for your back taxes? I don't even know what they are right now. I'll, I'll probably know or have a better idea within the next couple of months. And yeah, being very matter of fact, I'm probably going to be doing special events to say, hey, if you want to help me out, you know, you guys know my financial situation. I've been transparent with you and this would help me out tremendously if, you know, we could raise a certain amount in a certain amount of time, I'll probably try to do it. But for now, that would be pretty dishonest for me to try to do anything when I have no idea what it's going to be, um, you know. <laughs> so there you go. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, thank you, Freddie B., for the 100-bit cheer. 
Poopy Poop Gaming USA resubscribe for two months in a row. 19 months total. Thank you, Poopy Poop Gaming, for that. Much appreciated. The, the uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the support. That's right. I got distracted because someone started typing in all tight, uh, all caps in the stream chat. Distracted the shit out of me. Okay. Thank you for the support, Poopy Poop Gaming USA. 19 months of support is very appreciated. Uh, Chuggy Jack took me another dollar. says, I'm too lazy to email you. Well, then I guess your laziness will be your downfall, and you're not going to get unbanned. Because as I said, I'm not going to derail the entire stream and sit here, <laughs> sit here during a pre-stream or a gameplay stream to to research what happened and why you're banned, and if I can unban you, it's not going to happen. you got to email me, okay? Just like everybody else. So thank you for the dollar tip. Um, All right, let's give a shout-out. Uh, let's see here to the top. Cheers of the week. Thank you to everyone who has cheered so far this week. I appreciate the support. In 10th place, we've got Vincent. In 9th place, we've got Third Eye the Third. 8th place is Honest Fan. I have to burp. I thought I had to burp. I think it's going away. In 7th place, it's Spartan King. 6th place is Delancius. We have a tie for 4th place between Mr. Papa Vera and Sambuca 2020. Very nice. Um, Junior Mint 007 is in... Wait a minute. Junior Mint 007 is also tied for, for that. So actually, it's a triple tie for third between Junior Mint, Papa Vera, and Sambuca. Okay. In second place, Shadow the Hedgehog. And in first place so far this week, it is Snake Eater. Thank you, Snake Eater, for all the cheering support this week, man. Now, as for people who gifted subs this week, we've got many people who actually gifted a single sub, including Bad Shark 90, Based Black Republican, D Train 12, Yeah 4335. And Jack Spartacus. So thank you all of you for your contributions there. Um, and Boxing Elephant actually d gifted four subscriptions uh, this week so far. So you know what I should do? Because we did have a bunch of subs and resubs during the pre-stream. Hold on a second here. Let's see how we're doing on sub count. 460. Ah, okay. 646. We actually went up uh, a few subs. That's nice. Thank you. Everyone for your support. Thank you to Freddie so so far for the top cheer. Thank you to the anonymous six dollar tipper for the top tip so far. Again, reminder: best way to contribute is by tipping me. Okay, that helps me more than anything right now. Um, I guess we're done, right? I guess we could take a break because I do have to actually use the restroom. Um, so let's take a few minutes break for me to use the restroom, and then when we come back, it's time for nights. We're actually going to start a lot earlier than usual because there's uh, you know, the pre-stream was pretty quick today. You know, sometimes it happens. All right, guys, let's take a, a few minutes break. I'll use the restroom. We'll be back, and then it's night's time. Thank you, and see you in a bit. Thanks. <laughs> 